can't get away. Palm trees, beach views, for the never day. All I wanna hear is in the business of replay. Hey guys, welcome back to my Setting You Up for Success series. In this series, we're going to be going over creating your Facebook pixel. So for today's demonstration, I have a dummy Facebook account and also a dummy Facebook page. So first things first, you will need to create a Facebook uh, page for your business. So I just created a random one. I called it YouTube Recording. If you need to know how to create, you just have to hit Create and then um, Page, and it will bring you uh, through options that you can select if it's the business, the name of the business, etc. So I already went ahead and I set mine up here just for the purpose of these of this series. And so once you set everything up, you have your pictures, you have um, some details about your company entered, your cover photo, everything. What you're going to want to do is go to Add Center here at the top, and then you're going to select All Ads. After you select All Ads, you're just going to go to Ads Manager, because that's where we actually want to go to go to your Facebook pixel. So it's loading here. Yeah, it's giving me the pop-up, what you can do, blah, 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 blah. I accept. Does anyone ever even actually read all those things when they actually say, I accept? I'm confident I never have ever, but yeah. Thank you and done. So we're gonna go over to here in the top left corner and select the hamburger menu. And then under events manager, you'll notice the one that says pixels. So we're gonna select pixels. And it's loading. If you can hurry up. Perfect. So then now we're in this data source here and it just gives you some details and how you can um, how you can go about creating your Facebook pixel and what the purpose is behind it. And this is what will help you actually track certain transactions that occur on your website or I shouldn't say transactions, I should say events. So whether someone um, adds to cart or someone likes um, fall, um, is your first time visitor to your page, you have quite a few options that you'll be able to track with a Facebook pixel. And then in terms of creating ads, you can use it for your Facebook pixel to say, okay, I want customers that or adding to cart um, to be the, the uh, call to action for your your face for your for your Facebook manager ads, but that would be separate from this. Today we're just more focused on setting up your Facebook pixel. So it'll give you a little bit of information here: track website activities, improve your return on advertising, reach new and existing customers. So we're going to proceed with create a pixel. And then I'll just call it Stacy Dash's Pixel just for the purpose of this video. And I'm not gonna put a website for now because I don't have one at the moment yet, but we will later on. And I'm also not gonna create a business manager account right now. It, if you would like to, you can, so that if you have, um, you're gonna have multiple companies and you wanna kinda, you know, have them all together in one place, it's kind of going to be like a one-stop shop for you, then you can go ahead and actually just create a business manager account. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to continue here. Okay. And then connect a website activity using Pixel. It gives you a little bit of details as well. When you're actually doing this, actually read through the options just so that you can actually select something that you want to proceed with. Now, I'm someone that's a actual web developer by trade, so like to manually add it, that would be simple for me. Um, or if you have someone that's building your website, you have the option to email the instructions to them as well. But if you have a website such as like WordPress or Shopify for your e-commerce uh, website, then you can also do add code using a partner integration. So I'll just do add code using partner integration. And it looks like there's a lot of options in here. You have big commerce, Drupal, 
Eventbrite, of course, Shopify, Squarespace, WooCommerce, which would probably be added to WordPress anyways, but then Wix. Uh, you have a lot of options in here, but I'm pretty sure majority of the people that are watching my video, you guys probably have Shopify. So we're just gonna go ahead and select Shopify. So now we get this window where you can actually um, enable or disable setting advanced matching. And all that simply means is that when a user subscribes to your website and you have their email address or their phone number, it will actually link them if they use that phone number or email address for their Facebook. And this is pretty good because then you can also get increased um, engagement for when you do create Facebook ads because those are customers that are actually already interested in your product and services. So it's gonna be easier to show ads to those people that are actually interested. So I'm gonna leave mine on and I'm hoping you guys would too. Unless, you know, you don't want to, that's entirely up to you, but I'll leave it on for the demonstration of this video. And then, so this will actually explain to you where you can navigate to. And um, it, it would be easier for you guys to go down this route because with the manual route, you'll have to kind of read through code to pick and choose what um, your ID is. And, you know, you don't want to insert the wrong ID if you're not sure how to read code. So this will actually show you how to go, um, where to navigate to in Shopify. And so here it's telling you to go to your online store and then you're gonna head over to preferences. And then under preferences, you'll have an option where it says Facebook pixel. And then if you scroll down below here, it will provide your Facebook pixel for number two. So you're gonna wanna copy the number that they give you and then uh, you're gonna go over to your Shopify account and you're gonna add it to your Facebook pixel section. If, you're, if you watch my first video and now you're watching my second video, all you have to do is just stay on that page and then now you just have to um, copy your Facebook pixel. And then within this option, once you copy it to your Facebook pixel and you save it on the next page, it will actually verify um, a connection for you. So because I don't have like a dummy website where I'm gonna be setting up my Facebook pixel, I'm gonna have to just um, ignore this step, but you guys can proceed giving your website URL and then you're gonna send a test traffic and it will let you know if it's good or not. And once it's good, you can go ahead and continue and then also complete your confirmation. And then you are complete, your Facebook pixel is set up. So just like your Google Analytics, the Facebook pixel was actually pretty easy to set up as well. For some people though, I've seen in the past, it was pretty confusing to them, especially if this is your first time getting into e-commerce. So I wanted to actually walk through it with you guys and I'm hoping that it wasn't too complicated or I hope I didn't confuse anyone with anything. And I am excited because you guys are on that path to setting up um, your own Shopify store. So stay tuned. I got some great content coming for the Shopify series, but uh, stay tuned. Just continue watching. I'm planning to set up a um, store with a free template showing you guys how you can create uh, collections and also just going through certain Shopify settings and also some apps that I would recommend for you to add to your Shopify store. So stay tuned, continue watching. Don't forget to like this video if you did find it helpful. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day in the YouTube space. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.